Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Just in case you're new here, my name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. I'd love it if you visited me over there sometime. My link is below to that blog. I am back today with my November favorites. I know we're already into December. I've had a ton of videos going up with the daily um, vlogs and videos in between each. So, I'm, you know, I'm trying to keep up, but I better get started. I have a bunch of stuff to show you. I have a box that I actually keep in my pantry and it contains a lot of these favorites. Now some of them I've grabbed from random spots, but I, I have a lot. So let's get started. We're going to start with the food stuff. So recently I saw these Kraft Jeff Puffed Marshmallow Bits at my grocery store. These are perfect for hot cocoa. I mean, the real ones are nice, but these are little. And I've used a ton of these already, and it's like not even halfway down. And they offer them, I guess, in chocolate, vanilla, no, what flavors? I think they have them in chocolate and strawberry. I'm not sure. I, I'd have to check. I think so, though. And these are really nice for the cold weather and all the cocoa that we've been drinking. Yeah, super, super excited um, that I found these. I love them. They're perfect to travel with, too. So if you're taking, like, a car trip and you drink a lot of cocoa, these might be perfect for you because um, they're not going to go stale because they have that good lid. You can shake them out, see the holes. And we've been using these a lot. And there's even a recipe on the back, which I might make for the hot cocoa cookies. Yeah, total hit. I love these. Okay, next up um, to kind of go with those marshmallow bits is the Land O'Lakes um, Cocoa Classics in Chocolate Supreme. Now, of course, these go hand in hand. Um, it's cold and hot cocoa is just something we all love. I actually like some in my coffee. Um, and, um, and this one by Land O'Lakes is really, really good. And um, no complaints here. We've, we've, used about half of it so far. They got um, iced cocoa drink and then a chocolate dessert sauce that you can use with this or you can make from this. And um, I like it, so um, yum. If you haven't tried this one, it's a good one. And it goes great with the marshmallow bits. Now, let's move into teas. Now you guys know I love tea. I'm always buying tea and trying new ones. But one of the ones I finally used up um, of one of my Whitbirds is the English um, Breakfast Loose Leaf Tea. Comes in a little tin. And um, let me see if I can get it open. Um, there's only a little bit left. And here's what the tea looks like. And I've been using um, just this to um, make quick cups of tea. It's it's really nice. It's just one from the grocery store and um, it's been working well. Um, it's just mesh and you can see. I love this and it goes with the tea. Now this isn't really a favorite. I use this all the time. I do like it a lot um, and I like my perfect tea maker but for just one cup I've just been using this and I finished this up and it's one of the best teas. I love a strong black tea and that's what this is. Um, you know, for you use about three to four tablespoons. Actually, I fill this up for just one um, cup because I like it so, so strong. Another tea that you guys have seen me talk about is the Numi Organic Honey Brush Tea. Do I have one more? No. No, I'm out. Um, this is such a very light artistic blend of teas. Um, it's from South Africa. It's organic and um, it just has the sweetest aroma and smell, but not too sweet. And I'm just really impressed with this one. It tastes amazing. And um, it's a flowering shrub that yields a rich earthly brew with sweet honey overtones. The secret healer is rich in antioxidants and it's gluten free. And um, there's also a honey brush milk tart using this recipe on the inside. So I'm going to save this. I might try it because I like this tea so much. Now I have a tea video coming up in a few weeks where I show you some new ones, but you can always check out my Instagram um, profile because I'm always posting 
tea pictures always and I just posted some new ones that I just recently got um, yeah lots of tea so the next food item I'm gonna show you guys and I I'm sure this one on Instagram too is the Michaels of Brooklyn um, fresh tomato and basil pasta sauce now so many of you guys let me know that you live in New York and you live by a Michaels of Brooklyn um, pizzeria or restaurant and um, that you guys love them as much as I love the sauce so this sauce contains Italian tomatoes that's imported from Italy, fresh basil, garlic, olive oil, spices, and parsley with nothing else. And I don't remember how much this cost, but it wasn't too overly priced for a pasta sauce, but it was probably one of the best sauces I've ever ate, ever. And um, it's the only one that really reminds me of my grandma's sauce that you can get in a jar um, at your grocery store. So I was highly, highly impressed with this and I will be doing a review on the marinara sometime soon. I haven't opened it yet, but I just got it. I'm super excited. Um, the next item um, that I tried and really liked is the Green Mountain Green Joe Mild Salsa. Now, I think this is organic, yes? All natural. I don't know if it's organic. Um, 100% natural, fat-free, no preservatives, no allergies. And this one is, um, 16 ounces and it contained ripe tomatoes, onions, tortillas, apple, cider, vinegar, cilantro, fresh parsley peppers, fresh jalapeno peppers, parsley, garlic, sea salt, and cumin. That is it. This was so good. I think, again, it was the ripe tomatoes because my husband was like, did you add sugar to the jar of salsa? No, I did not, but I usually like sugar in my salsa. And um, because it was so fresh tasting and so delicious, my family ate it up, and um, it was a big, big hit. So I'll definitely repurchase that in the future. And I think the last food item I'm going to share with you is the Horizon Classic Mac and Cheese. So, you guys, I simply like the cheaper mac and cheese. It's my favorite. And, you know, I like the shells and all that, but the regular mac and cheese like this, my favorite. So, you know, in an attempt to find a healthy um, mac and cheese that has the powder cheese and all that, I went for the Horizon Classic Mac. And it's made with Real Horizon Organic Chicken. And um, the ingredients are organic wheat macaroni, organic wheat, um, organic cheddar cheese, salt, cornstarch, organic skim milk, organic butter, natural flavor, lactic acid, and um, that's it. So, you know, I was totally impressed by this, and I will for sure pick it up. It tasted just like, you know, another uh, mac and cheese. It um, was was delicious, and even the whole wheat pasta, which, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a fan on. Not huge, but it was more filling. It um, was delicious and creamy, and it was really good. So, I'm happy I found a healthy alternative to my mac and cheese. So now I guess we'll go on into pets. I got that stuff down on the chair here. Um, I don't even know what this is called. This is a thing you put the dog ball in and you can wing it. And we have used this so much with our golden retriever. It had to become a favorite um, because it allows you to throw the ball really far without having a lot um, of strength in your arm. And it's super easy. My entire family uses this with Cooper. Extended family, anybody who comes to visit, everybody loves this. And you can pick up the ball because a lot of times the ball is like slobbery. You can pick it up with this on its own. It just kind of clamps over it. And then when you wing it out, it throws it really far. I cannot remember the name. You guys can leave that in the comments below if you know. But this has been a big hit with our Golden Retriever. He loves it, and it's easier on us, and he loves to play ball. Um, for the cats, one of my favorites this past month for them has been the Imes Digestive Care. Now, I would like to put them on an all-natural diet, human-grade diet. My cats are a lot more finicky than... Um, my dog and they simply do not like a lot of the really expensive foods but this one they enjoyed um, they ate it up 
it kept down the hairballs. And when you have long-haired cats, that's a big problem. And we have four. So um, this kind of kept them down. I noticed that there wasn't as many, which is super nice. And um, this is just the adult version. Um, but it worked well for our cats. So I'll definitely be repurchasing that um, because their little finicky butts love it. Now, I've shown these in other videos, but I'm going to keep showing them in case you're new here. Um, our dog, Cooper, is a golden retriever. He's seven years old. He started having seizures. He went on medication. We switched his bowls. We switched his diet. And one of the foods that we um, have been buying him is the um, Blue Wilderness line. Um, we've tried almost every, besides the puppy, every every um, bag of dry food, and he really loved it. He ate this one. It says just with real life meat and um, life source bits. He he ate this one faster than any of the other ones. Um, I personally like to buy him duck a lot. I know he likes that, but this one was a big, big hit, and it's all natural. Um, it's really healthy for your dogs, and... Um, it's worked out good because he's off seizure medicine and he's just on the all natural diet. So we're taking it really seriously and we're just feeding him non grain, all natural food. We might give him a chicken breast or um, some protein or maybe some vegetables, but we do not give him anything um, that has grain in it. And when, you know, I've been buying this dog food for a while, but I'd never seen the treats. I hadn't seen them at my feed store. I don't know if they had them in till now, but these are the same, the 100% grain-free Blue Wilderness. This is the duck biscuits, and Cooper really likes these. Um, they are a little bit drier. It's not like, you know, bacon, but it's better for their teeth, and you can see they got a cute little paw on them. I love these, and um, I think they're super cute. I love that they take the time to put that paw and Cooper eats them up and they're healthy. And so, you know, it's been hard to find all natural treats. Um, we've used Blue Moon in the past. You might have seen that in some other favorites, but right now, this is one of Cooper's favorites. And he does love them. So moving on into household. I don't have a ton of household items this month, um, but I will share some things. So with company here and lots of laundry. One thing I've been really thankful for and one thing that I've used a lot are these. These are the BioSera washing balls. No soap required. You do set them out once a month because they absorb smells, but these don't smell at all. They work great. If you're somebody who needs um, something for sensitive skin, these are your answer. If you're somebody who spends a lot of money on laundry soap, these are your answer. I got a full video up already. It's quite old, but I'll link it in showing how to use these and where you can find them. But I've been using these a lot with the sheets and um, with the towels, and it's just been saving us money, and these work so, so well. My mom got these for me a long time ago, and they last forever. And um, they just work really good, and I like them a lot. So thank you, Mom. Um, what's else? Oh, the last household item... Um, that I'm going to show you. This was a trial size. It was the Glisten Dis Disposal Care, and it's a um, drain foaming cleaner. And I love this. I put it in my um, garbage disposal. It has a lemon scent. I use leftover or like lemons that I've squeezed and that I would just normally toss um, in the garbage or outside somewhere. Um, but this was nice. Um, it worked well. I think it actually sharpened because um, the, um, what do you want to call it? The particles or, you know, the solution felt like it was, it sounded actually like it was sharpening the blades. And um, it works well. And you had to run hot water and then um, with the disposal off, you fill um, the sink and you insert one packet completely into the dishwasher you don't unwrap it and um when the foam completely disappears this is you keep this and i don't know that much about this i've only used one but when the foam disappears um it's clean and i really like this i'm going to order some um or find some in my grocery store because it really worked well and i was super impressed so i love that 
Um, now, let's move into clothing, and I'm only going to share really one thing, and that is yoga pants. Sweats are nice, too. Yoga pants um, have been my absolute favorite in November. You know, I'm a stay-at-home wife and mom, and I do run a lot of errands, but I don't need to get dressed up every day. I worked a lot of um, time in my life wearing heels and dresses. I have a closet full, but while I'm home and while I'm, you know, running to Walmart and running to the Dollar Tree... Yoga pants have been my absolute favorite. I know for some people it is a sign of being lazy because, you know, if you wear too comfortable clothes, um, you tend to do less. That's what studies have shown. But for me, I stay pretty active and I still wear yoga pants and I love them. So that's what I've been wearing mostly in November. Now, health-wise, I will say that... Um, Scott and I are smokers. It just is what it is. We're trying to quit. We've been taking the Chantrix. We're in the beginning process of it. I um, have taken this before, but my husband kept smoking around me, and I had quit, so it was pretty hard. But I know a lot of people get bad dreams, and there's been some depression issues with Chantrix. What it does to me is makes me sick, but it does not... Um, it does not hurt me besides, you know, it makes me have an upset stomach. So if this helps me quit smoking, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm on these again, and I'm working hard. So fingers crossed. Now, health and beauty. That was health. Beauty, um, this soap has been amazing. This is the She Moisture Organic African Black Soap. It's for acne-prone face and body garden. I don't have acne-prone skin. Um, I do have some larger pores, but this soap um, is truly amazing. Now, I got a comment in on this that I actually deleted because someone told me that I should not be using this. It's for um, African-American people only. Really? No. Um, and it worked so well. It smells amazing. And you can see it's got little chunks um, in it. And let me see. Let me read about it. It says, um, Sophie Tucker started gathering sea nuts for sale at the village in her market in Sierra Leone in 1912. By age 19, she was the widowed mother of four. Um, and she started making this black soap, blah, blah, blah. And this is an amazing soap. Um, it's made from palm ash. I'll do a more in tar and platinum peel. It's been used in Africa for dry skin and other skin elements um, and what this does for me is it totally even though it's for acne prone skin I feel like it moisturizes my skin and um, it's definitely tightening and I love that and I what I do I only use this on my face I don't use it on any other part of my body I lather it up I put it on my face I wash off any makeup and any you know oils and dirt and then I go back with it a second time lather it up put it on my face, and finish my bath with it on. It's almost like a little mask. This is amazing. You can find it at Target. I'm going to be holding a giveaway. I'm probably going to give 10 of these away. It's amazing. I love it. My husband actually loves it, too. comes in my package like this. If you see it, don't be scared to try it. It is amazing. Yeah, I love it. Another item I used up a lot in November is the Revlon Age Divine Firming and Lifting Makeup. I talked about this. I bought a new one and went through this super fast. It has SPF of um, 15. This one's in number 10, Bare Buff. It's a good foundation, you guys. I think it's great for older skin. Um, I'm 38, and I love how this looks on my skin. So definitely don't be scared to try it out. Another item that I have been loving, I did a video and demo on this, is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Intensa Mascara. It's not too different from the original, but it does hold up a little bit better. It curls my lashes better. It's got this, this um, brush that has, you know, very short um, bristles, and it's rubber. It works great and gives, you know, a really nice effect. And it's one of my favorites. So if you want to see more about it, definitely check out that video because it's lovely mascara for definitely a drugstore. Okay, so now on to books. I got quite a few I want to share with you.
Here they are. Let's go with this one. This is the Love Dare. I think my sister-in-law gave me this. I can't remember who gave this to me, which is sad, but I'm sorry. And I haven't shared a lot about this book. It's been kind of private, but let me read the back to you. It says, um, though unconditional love is promised at weddings, it is rarely practiced in real life. As a result, romantic hopes often fade into disappointment at home, but it doesn't have to stay that way. Rather, your marriage is hanging by a thread or healthy and strong. This 40-day journey featured in Fireproof, yes, Fireproof, challenges husbands and wives to understand and practice unconditional love. If you desire greater intimacy, friendship, and fulfillment in your marriage, let it begin where millions have started with a dare. Now featuring revised chapter, new bonus material, and access to free online marriage evaluation. This is the best love dare experience ever. There's a quote that says, love bears all things, believes in all things, hopes in all things, endures in, love, in all things, and love never fails. Corinthians 13, 7, and 8. So, I'll kind of show you in the back. Um, Scott and I um, bicker a lot, but we love each other a lot, too. And we're trying to find other ways to cope with stress and you know, marriage problems, and we don't really have that many except we bicker. But this book has been pretty inspirational, and just for me. Um, now, it has the worksheets, which I've done in the beginning, and I don't want to show it to you. I'm still in this. Um, I have about 15 days left, and it's been very helpful, and I've been making some changes within myself, not to be as critical. Um, I've always felt like there are conditions to my love in a marriage. You can't be unfaithful. You can't continuously lie to me. You have to be trustworthy. But this is kind of twisting my head a little bit. And um, yeah, I've been really enjoying this. If you read this book or participated in it um, with the workshops or anything, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. You can leave those below as well as anything else um, in, these, um, in these favorite videos. So the next book I just started is The Kabbalah. Um, astrology and the meaning of our lives. So you guys know I study Kabbalah. I believe in God, believe in angels, believe in, you know, spirituality. And this book um, studies the planets and star formation cells um, that tell us, um, you know, exactly the precise instant that is best suited to our special needs that we are born into this world of free will. Kabbalah teaches us that we have many possible futures and that through Kabbalah, Wisdom can become the captain. We can become the captains of our own ships. And this has been an interesting book. Now, I, you know, don't really read a whole lot of newspaper astrology stuff, but this goes deeper than that. And it's been quite interesting. I'll probably do a review and a giveaway. The last book, well, the last book of sorts is my prayer books. I say this all the time. Right now, I'm still in the 365 pocket evening prayer book. These are amazing. And there's a feather. Where did a feather come from? Probably my pillow. Uh, I read the this one. I read one in the morning, but I also read this one every night in bed. What I read last night was pretty touching. It was about complaining and whining. And the um, in script, um, which I love, is by um, Philippians, is do everything without complaining and arguing so no one can criticize you. Live clean, innocent lives as children of God, shining like bright lights in a world full of crooked and perverse people. So, yeah, that was a pretty good one. And um, these just really help ease my mind before I go to sleep. You might not see it in the vlogs that I'm putting up every day, but I promise you this is getting opened every night. It helps me right before I fall asleep to put something really good in my mind. So I love the, these books. I highly recommend spiritual, religious, non-spiritual people could definitely benefit from prayer books. There's so much more in them than just scriptures. There's examples. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. So I just love those. Now, on to um, other books. I have a giveaway going on for this personal planner. And this is a beautiful planner, you guys. It's cheaper than an Erin Condren planner, and it's more customizable than an Erin Condren planner. And I have a giveaway going on. You can um, get entered. I'll put the link in. But this is one of my favorite planners right now. I'm using it mainly for household. However, it's been pretty hard switching off from the Erin Condren. Um, right now, for December, I know I'm going to continue using this. 
for both home and YouTube and blog. I might switch it up in January. This one I am um, using in a kind of different way. I'll show that in a planning video, but um, this is still one of my biggest loves. Um, I use it a lot, and we'll have a new planning sessions video coming up super soon. Another book that I pulled out that I forgot I had is the blog and YouTube Little Perpetual Calendar from Erin Condren. This has been great for um, putting down my blog and YouTube content for the month. It's also um, something that would be great for mini planning if you just wanted the straight perpetual calendar um, for the year. So I love this. And those are the books. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is something I got from my sister-in-law that I love. This is a 31 owl zipper, or who's happy, I think, zipper pouch. And it is from 31, and it's just a company that sells really cool bags, accessories, and lots of different stuff. I fell in love with this when Trina brought it. It was $15. I bought it and it has quickly became a favorite. She came at the end of November. I only had to see it to know it was a favorite. It's got a really nice zipper. It's sturdy and it holds, like here, my planners in full and other stuff. So first, let me show you. Whoops. Here it is on the inside. It's got some of my um, stuff that I use with my planner in here, some washi tape samples and different stuff. But it holds all of my planners easily. Erin Condren just went in, and here is the personal planner. It just went in. I love this. I think I'm going to order a couple more of these. If you're interested in me doing a giveaway for maybe this owl pouch, maybe I can do that. Um, I just love these. I think they're adorable, and this is quickly made... Um, a favorite of mine from the moment I seen it. So those are my November favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments on anything you saw, feel free to leave those below. I love hearing from you guys. And I'm not going to do a full blog post with everything written out, but if you're looking for something and um, can't find it, just leave me a comment and I'll kind of do my best to direct you where you can't find it. So thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye!